insects go through metamorphosis, um, but most insects don't li live 17 years. All right, so I mean, you know, if if you're if you're if you're underground eating the best food in the world, uh, you know, having the best sex in, in the sense of how you sensation. Oh, well, whoever you is, who's talking? Let me see. Shut that fucker up. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, the cicadas are really interesting just because there, there's not too many species that do this thing where, you know, the generations are isolated from each other. So, yeah, each generation is a 17 year from the time it was, you know, l laid an egg till the time it lives for two months as a cicada, you know, where it flies and mates. Um, and so, but, but so, so you you have like so there's one in those 17 and so there's a group of 17 group of 17 years and each year has its own population density and here at this particular location one of those years and I think it's either next year or the year after that we have a, a mass year you know it's a crazy year where their population is 10 times the normal year and so every 17 years there's going to be this outbreak you know and they'll be so thick you know I like I have some video from from 15 years ago um, you know, where the, they'll just be you know, two or three very inches very thick ugly. on the side of the road. Who, who's saying that? Ugly. God damn, it must be overdocked. Uh, invisible life. I wonder if it's him. Yeah, I don't think so. Somebody. Fucking cunt. find out who it is because I really want to kick them. Mudge A. Dean. Oh, where the hell is he? Oh, there it is. 99 guy? Yeah, okay, good. He's worth kicking. Fuck that cunt. Kick him. Kick him twice. But anyway, the point I was going to get to about the whole um, cicada thing is just that their evolution is almost, almost isolated. So these particular seasons, you can end up with speciation, theoretically. Eventually they could change radically from, like each one of those separate 17-year generations can evolve into, you know, their own specialty. So like each year they could end up eventually, like over enough time, you know, one season they might be blue, the next season they might be green. The season after that, they have four wings instead of two wings. You know, that kind of crap could happen. Just because of the way they've been isolated by generation, which is just kind of neat. I mean, that's evolutionary, you know, bullshit, technicality. It's kind of interesting. I think. Hey, Pyro. <sighs> How you doing? I made a great video today on your free will shit tonight. I think what's it called? It's on that stuff. Whatever blip place. Whatever blip place. God, turn, oh, you don't pull that shit. You don't leave with your mic open, asshole. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Stupid moron. I made a Google is evil video every day. Well, one day I did it in early in the morning, so that didn't kind of count. And that, that had Google is evil. I even put Google is evil in a couple other videos so that you could legitimately watch them. Video. Yeah, yeah, well, I watched probably more of your videos this week than I have in a while. <laughs> Just for that reason. Hey, good old Pyro came through, but he was the only one. Really is sad just how few people are willing to say the word. You know, it's like some, oh, I can't say anything bad about Google, no, it's, uh, I'll spoil my partnership or I'll spoil my love, you know, I don't know what they're afraid of, I and mean, what's so hard about saying Google's evil, 
I mean, fuck, you know, you spelled it out pretty well. I think I spelled it out. It's really stupid to let corporations run our free speech rights. They basically, the public square has moved onto the Internet. We're basically now being, our, our First Amendment now has, now is in IBM tags or something. I mean, it's controlled by corporations, and Google Corporation is the big one. And what the hell is this? I mean, fuck, people, pay attention. This is fucking important shit. And, yeah, what? No one will say a damn peep. Sure, yeah, of, of, that they're like our benefactors, see, and that's why we have to respect everything, and we forget that, wait, they're making money off of this thing we as public created, and yet we still still have this, we're from thousands of years of being slaves, I think. You know, it's just like instinctually, Google's powerful, we're on their side, you don't question the hand that feeds you. Ugh, well, look, Johnny Zodiac guy. Anybody else, you know, I've pointed at links to my website enough times that you should know to check it now and then, okay? So, yeah, I have posted videos, they're on blip because I'm protesting YouTube. So I haven't posted videos on YouTube, I've posted them on Blip, and you can access all the videos from donotgod.com. Not that complicated. It's just bizarre. I mean, you look at the fucking view numbers. I have some videos on Blip. I mean, it got 90 views, 100 views maybe, 110. I mean, it, you know, it's amazingly pitiful. How many people will even migrate? I mean, they won't even leave their little YouTube. Oh, no, I can't go to some other website and watch a video. Oh, that's too scary. I was all ready, too, to, to, to open it. I did open the account. But see, Blip TV doesn't seem to have a way to reply, and it's these little things that, you know, I just have to admit, I mean, whether it's hypocrisy or not, I mean, I do end up using products. I've used Microsoft products before, though I finally got rid of those. And, you know, it's just it's just hard, as bad as YouTube is. It's real straightforward in the terms of at least you can do video replies and, and that structure. But, um, yeah, but other than that, I'd switch to some video yeah, but tell you the truth, the video reply system on YouTube is really pretty broken. I mean, most of the times I go to one of your videos, I have no idea who the fuck you're talk talking to. There's no reply link, and if you don't post the link in the description, there's no, I have no idea who the fuck you're even talking to. So, I mean, that, that YouTube reply system isn't too fucking great anyway. Uh, I mean, they've broken it. That's uh, true. I mean, it was better a year ago than it is now. And uh, I'm thinking that, you know, it's going to be pretty easy. I, as I'm looking at the infrastructure here, is that I'm, I'm working on tools now, um, you know, creating a, a universal reply system. You know what I mean? So you could just use a bookmark and, a, you know, reply a video to another video, and it would be on one page and, you know, connecting the videos. So I just have to figure out how to do the connecting part, you know, without it getting too noisy. But... Um, I mean, that's doable. You know, you can do a third-party indexing site for videos. <sighs> yeah, I saw your little co collab uh, thing, <laughs> you know. Uh, we, we can, yeah, it's hard to collab, though, you know. I have to do some kind of funny video or something. I say we do like a simulated sex collab video. That would be a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, it feels to me. Frog sex or something. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Ah, Miss Pac Man. Ooh. <sighs> She gives me a feeling. <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. <sighs> okay, enough of that. Uh, back to where, where, where were we? We were talking about something important. Uh, what the hell was it? Oh, yeah, the whole value thing. Yeah, okay, we sort of killed that. All right, we can move on. Oh yeah, life is pointless, that's true, yeah.
How the hell can you record speaker sound with the um, cam studio? You can't fucking figure it out. Well, this ain't the place if somebody give me an explanation. I tell you, get something else. I don't know. Okay. That software actually works pretty good, but just get a different, just get a voice recorder. Um, you know, but then you have to sync the sound with the video. But yeah, I mean, if you turn your microphone, I don't, there's a stupid thing right in this thing. It says, it gives you these buttons. It says video, or video with sound. Just you, you press the button, it says video with sound. So, um, what do you think about the mosque, the super mosque that they're trying to build in, you know, like, ground zero, the World Trade Center used to be? Yeah, we've do you think been that over this already. It's really a boring subject, incredibly boring. Yeah, Remy's right. Uh, who cares? Um, we ought to just protest the mosque for, you know, just because, yeah, religious people are assholes and, it's, and Muslims are you know, of the religious people there, the shittiest and stupidest. So we gotta mock them and all that kind of crap. But just the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I play the game right. Move along, moron. Jesus, TV on and everything else. What the fuck? I'm back, motherfucker. Yeah, man, I yeah, just tried to kick you, motherfucker, question. so it doesn't matter, I'm back, you know, I'm back, I and I can stay if I is. want to. No, you'll stay at my uh, convenience, so behave, asshole. And don't say the word terrorist. Piero, what, what's your, even your definition it. of the will? What are you talking about when you talk about the will? The will. The will. Will, wills are just wishes that you turn into action. So they're the ones that win. So whatever Fine. wins, whatever wins our mental battle between this choice and that thing and this, this thing, like I'm horny, but I'm also hungry. Heard of his husband catching, I mean, the husband catching me. Uh, yeah, and so whatever thing wins, we call that our will. But yeah, it's just a competition between impulses. Okay, I mean, it has, there's no will. Will just arrives on you. I mean, I, I do it every day. I, when the swimming pool is cool, like, you know, I clean it in the mornings. And sometimes the water's cold, damn it. And so you're standing there on a diving board, and you have to will yourself into the water. And you know it's cold, but you know you want to get this over with, because you're going to get into the water, and so you must just get it done. And there's this point where you just all of a sudden start, okay, I'm all of a sudden doing, okay? So I have now willed myself to do it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't make the will happen. It's a mechanical programming process, and it has to get to a point where the little pinball machine thing goes ding, 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 and it hits the right bumper, and all of a sudden, you're moving. Well, what if the will is that? The will, will, the will is that's like trying to wake you up in the morning to fucking make the fucking live. Well, yeah, I what said about that's only that? one part. The what will is not the will one is thing. That thing that's fucking there is not one you to live. I mean, it's, thing. It's a negative force, not a positive force. What? It, there's no will. There's just the fact that there's things competing impulses. The impulse that wins, we call the will. But that's all it is. It's just the winning impulse. The impulse that ended up being the strongest. It won the competition. We call it the will, but we had lots of impulses. We had, uh, you know, some want to do this, and we had a little want to do that, and we had a little want to do this. And one of those three things we did, so we call that we willed it. We didn't really will it. There was just one that was stronger than the other two, or five, or two hundred. No, it's we never will anything. It's like it's reason 